Chicago Bulls take a tough L, 124-104 to the Oklahoma City Thunder. Not the way you wanted to start the season off in the slightest. Ringo, uh, listen, I mean, what did you see that uh, that led to this loss? I mean, <laughs> I got Hayes and my brothers over here. It's a lot of what we saw last season. I mean, it's it's been a lot of what we saw the last two seasons, though. Yeah. There's you you still not getting the you still not getting the ball down low to Vooch in the post. I mean the only the only two things that we saw that improved was okay, they, okay, they're taking more threes. They took more threes. They didn't make and, more threes, but they took and and yeah, they didn't make more threes. And Kobe looks Kobe looks like a starting starting PG. Yeah. I, Kobe looks like a starting PG and and P will P will show do some stuff. Outside of that, it's been the same conversation. For the last two and a half years, no, a hundred percent. Like I, I, I have a hard time, right? Listen, taking more threes, I get it, right? But you still shot twenty eight percent from the three point line. You only made twelve of them tonight. You took forty two. You, you, you got to come out and start turning this defense into offense. I actually commend the Bulls for how they play defense a lot in this game. I know, right? One twenty four. You're looking at me crazy, Pat. How can you say that they play defense well tonight? There were a lot of stretches where the Bulls played defense really well. The problem was they couldn't turn that into any offense. And then you get those moments where it would be seven to nothing, six to nothing uh, runs in a row. The Bulls come down, get two, and then you go right back out and get an 11-0 run, right? Like, for me, I'm looking at, you know, the offense. The offense didn't knock down shots. I mean, basically nobody showed up. Zach Levine uh, had a horrible game to start off, four for 16 in this game, two for nine from the three-point line. The one thing that I did like that he did in the first half was he was attacking the bucket, uh, trying to get some foul calls there. But outside of that, I mean, like, you really didn't see much of anybody. DeMar got his numbers to look a little bit better toward the end. There was such a consistent – the number one thing for me that that was the most consistent thing that I think did irritate me uh, is looking at the lack of utilization when it came to how you're using the players you have. Number one player for me that we didn't see used well, Nikola Vucevic. I mean, you basically ran a high pick and roll or had him in the high post the entire game. You're handing the ball off to a three-point shooter, setting a screen to try and get them an open look. But you had a mismatch all night that literally both big men exploited. A Nikola Vucevic and Andre Drummond exploited with Chet guarding him. And because they were shading to try and keep passes from entering the post, you completely go away from it because you can't throw an entry pass into the post. We're having the same conversation as last year. And I guess like maybe we shouldn't be surprised, right? They only added Javon Carter and Torrey Craig, who – I mean, Torrey Craig, to me, gave you a lot tonight. He ended up putting up uh, 11 points for you. I thought Torrey Craig did some really good things. 11 points, gave you seven rebounds, four for six from the field, three for four from the three-point line. I like the addition of Torrey Craig. Javon Carter really didn't show me too much. P. Kidd has been saying this the whole time, that he's not a starting point guard in the league, and he didn't come out and have the greatest showing as a bench PG. Either. Yeah, um, I mean, listen – these are these are gonna be our additions. So I feel like at, at some point B- Billy's gonna gotta kind of figure out what what he's gonna do um, uh, with the rotations. But I mean, it, it's pretty much it's, it's it's what I've been saying all year, and it's it's something that I put uh, in a video on the on the Chicago Bulls breeze. Like, yo, if you're not going to use Vooch, yeah, you need you need to trade him. I wasn't I wasn't saying that because I don't like Vooch. He he's not gonna use him. That there's that like that they just said it. Um, Drummond was plus eight when when he was on the he floor. Was on the floor. Drummond, for, was play, uh, Drummond played uh, exceptionally ph- pheno- well. Phenomenal, phenomenally. He was night. playing Chet. He yeah. was defending Chet up the court and winning that match. Yeah, I mean, he was playing exceptionally well. You 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 pretty much you pretty much dominated. You you take him out. Don't put him back in. Now we're having the same conversation. I mean, even with Zach, like you're you're sitting there, you're down fourteen. Yeah, he's on the bench to start. He's on the bench. To start the quarter, and it's like, yo, we're we're legit having the same conversation. That's the reason why when Vuj when Vuj goes over, and then he he's coming back to the, um, he's coming back to the bench. You you see him you see him having the exchange. I I wanted, um, one one of the guys out of, out of the three that's getting paid on the team to be yeah. like, hey, show me a you're post. not you're not doing this. Somebody needs to show me a post. And 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 Vuj did that tonight, no, even I, in I, the I, loss. 
And I hope that, you know, this this kind of wakes Billy up. But we got yet to see. Mug just talking about 25 games. I'm giving him 15 because I'm not doing another 82 talking about we need to get Vooch the ball in the post. I'm well, and that's it. the thing, right? That's what continuity does. I know, like, I, I've said this a couple of times. One, you can't start off the season with a slow start. Now, one loss, this is one game. This is not the end of the world. The Bulls could go out and win four of their next uh, uh, five. And we were having a completely different conversation, right? It's early in the season. But with this Bulls team, you can't start off with these slow starts. And I thought, you know, when we saw the tweet from Casey Johnson, that Nikola Vucevic was hot about the fact that he was not getting the basketball uh, in the post, right? And, and that he went literally a 12-minute stretch without getting a shot up. A 12-minute stretch without getting a shot up. That's completely unacceptable. And I... It, it's it's a it's a lack of utilization of what your big man can do, especially on a night like tonight. I'm not sitting here asking you to make Nikola Vucevic, Nikola Jokic, but what I am sitting here at, asking you to do is when you have a mismatch, you exploit that mismatch because there's a no mismatch anywhere else. Lou Dort guarding DeMar DeRozan is not a mismatch. Uh, uh, Jalen Williams guarding Zach Levine is not a mismatch. Unfortunately, we can say that about this team right now. But you had no, you had one mismatch on the floor and you refused to exploit it. And to me, that that is a reason why when you go through those droughts, I said preseason, when we're going through these droughts, get the ball to this guy, whoever this guy is. Get the ball to the guy that has the mismatch. That's the guaranteed bucket because you can't have 11 0 runs, 6 0 runs, 12 0 runs. Back to back to back after you get one or two buckets in a row. And even when the Bulls would go on a run, I mean, the Bulls took the lead in the second half. Starting the second half, 7 0 run. They responded with two back to back 8 0 runs. Yeah. I believe they had a 16 to 4 run at one point. Yep. And I, I I told you, I said, oh, oh, okay. They punched him in the mouth. Okay. So he came right back to, okay, okay. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Away. I like that. Yeah. Watch this. I've had okay. that experience like, when you hit somebody like, as like hard it. as you can. Hey, 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 that, hey, that's why I brought that up. That was a terrifying um, day. Hey, man, but but nah, man, it's like it's it, it's the same old conversation. Yes, you want things to change, but, bro, it, it has it has to start with Billy. Yeah. It, it, it got to start with Billy. And Billy Donovan, I mean, he basically gave you a, I mean, pretty much a 10-man rotation in this game, 10 guys playing over 15 minutes. Uh, I thought you could have played Drummond a ton more. And, it, again, we're having a conversation on the in-game adjustment. Adjusting in game would have been, yes, this is my game plan, but Andre Drummond is dominating when he's out there. We're going to play Andre Drummond with Torrey Craig Moore. That is a lineup that worked tonight. And I, and I, I like that because I loved that that, lineup tonight. The, the game, even when that lineup was out there, the, the game was close, but you saw you saw the hustle, right? Yeah. Like you're because t- because now because now it's not just Drummond on the board. Torrey Craig knows how to rebound. So now you got those, you got those hustle guys out there, but there's no point. Of having those hustle guys out there, if you're consistently not converting yeah. when you're getting these turnovers, they, they had, I think, going into the third quarter, they had seven steals, I believe. Uh, so it, it, I it, do believe that you're right on that as well. I mean, uh, let's look at some first half stats here. Let's see. Steals, they had eight steals going yeah, into yeah, the first, uh, yeah. and I, I, or going into the third quarter. Yeah. The Bulls did some things defensively was, well, but the, that's the problem, though. Deep defensively, this team looks good. I know again, 124 points. How can you say defensively this team looked good? They 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 had those defensive moments that you have in the modern NBA. Like th- those are the moments you're gonna have, right? You're gonna have teams still put up 118, 125, 130 points at times. But can you have those moments where you get those big stops? The defense that I saw in spurts tonight. I loved from the Bulls. The lineups that they had out there defensively, I loved from the Bulls. But listen, you were missing wide open threes all night. And the question is, do you have guys on your team that can knock those down consistently? Kobe White's biggest thing coming into this season was consistency. What he shoot from the three-point line tonight? I believe he was two for six, if I'm not mistaken. Or am I uh, – oh, I was giving him some bail on that. No, I was right, two for seven for Kobe White tonight. Zach Levine, two for nine from the three-point line tonight, right? Jim, Torrey Craig was your best three-point shooter. I was worried about him. He he looks like he's yeah. maintaining that three-point shot. So, yeah. so many question marks with this Bulls team. At the end of the day, it's still game one. I'm not losing my mind completely, but it is concerning that so many of the things that we're seeing 
is the same old, same only. Yes, you took more three-point shots tonight. I'm glad you took more three-point shots tonight. There's some nights the three-point shots aren't going to fall. Maybe that is tonight, and this Bulls team is going to be an elite three-point shooting team. But Alex Caruso hoisted up uh, five of them, knocked down two. <coughs> I'm sorry. Alex Caruso knocked, uh, hoisted up four of them and knocked down one. He was two for five from the field the entire day. Um DeMar DeRozan took three, knocked down one. P. Will took four, knocked down none. Like, if that's the game plan you're going to go yeah. with, those can't be the numbers coming out of yeah. it. You can't talk about 28% from the field. And and the thing is, like, after a while, they just – I don't know. It felt like to me that they just stopped contesting. They was like, oh, oh let, let them have that. Let them shoot. I mean, <laughs> they, were getting, they were getting open shots. Or they were getting open shots all day. I actually like how they created – some of their open looks as well. It was off of the screen. And there are moments where you want to see that. But yeah. it, when you have the it, – it's just an adjustment. It's an in-the-brain adjustment to me to say, we're not scoring right here. I know they're going to take away DeMar DeRozan. What do I have on my team right now that they can't stop unless they foul? That was Vooch tonight. It's not going to be Vooch every night. But tonight it was Vooch and you didn't take advantage of it and you wanted to hoist up threes when they weren't going in. And everyone could see that they weren't going in. I get it. That's the open shot. I get it. We want to change our shot profile. But you also want to be able to keep the game close. In a game like this, some games you're not going to be able to make shots. That's just what it is. So, I don't know, man. We'll see. Uh, we'll be back here Friday. I believe Ringo and P-Kid will be on the call yes, Friday. Uh, it'll be a, that'll be a lit time for you guys in here as well, man. Oh, yeah, so, no, uh, no, no, no. Yeah, I mean, keeping it, keeping it fire, keeping it fresh, keeping it. I don't know. Keep, keep it hey, man, I'm I'm irritated right now. Uh, hey, let us know how you guys feel in the comments below. I'm sure you're irritated right along with us. As always, man, it's your boy Pat the Designer back at it again. Bulls take the L. Y'all stay safe out there, Chicago. Peace. Peace.